welcome to Soundstage, the first transmission for us and perhaps the first time that you'll get to see a local television show about your local music scene. First we'll have live music from Flip Ron. Then more live stuff from Callus. Then if you stick with us you'll get to see Fab Kitchenware. Also our regular features including Spot the Nina, Andy's Top 5 and a chat with King Come Prawn. To just Real TV for the Just The Real Hardcore. <laughs> King Prawn will mess your head up. Come and visit our humble abode. So all of that packed into one of your English half hours. But right now it's time to pin back the old ears and listen to the blues poetry sophistication of Flipron. They came by the Zodiac and recorded the three tracks for us, one of which, Hungermonger, you can hear right now. Okay. We're Flip from this is called Hungermonger. <laughs> Stencils on the frost, we're burning boots and molding blankets on the bonfire and I trust But the smoke will linger in our clouds and curl into our hair So that a mob of dying pensioners can follow if we dare to look away We are horses in the morning, our breath plates in the air The steam is thinking traces of our love, this lost and doesn't care The Lord's a part of the fortuitous and effectively equal value to its cause. on there with Hunger Munger and you'll see even more of them throughout the series. I must just point out that bass there, double bass, was played by Bleeding Fingers Fitzpatrick who is king of the Brucey bonuses. Uh, I was just told to say that. I don't write the scripts, I just read them out. Which I suppose makes me pretty wooden. However, that leads me nicely on to our next feature which is Spot the Cardboard Nina. Cardboard Nina, her off the cardigans, will be around town and if you can ring up and tell us where it was shot, you can win the featured album. Walk. 
Joker, a YTS Jedi with his own flying saucer. He bombed round the universe, shaped like a chisel pig, and stole the wheels off abandoned spaceships. I get brandy and dress smart like Dracula, and fly down from the moon in my spaceship. So, did you guess where that was? If you did, you can call us on 01865 311 113. That's... Lovely jingle there. Now, next up are Callus, who also came down to the Zodiac and recorded for us. Uh, you'll be able to hear one of their tracks, Alien to Myself. And if Steph, the lead singer, is watching, Steph, you left your Carhartt shirt behind, and uh, I've been wearing it, but you can have it back. It's washed. <laughs> Apparently you have to put up with a certain amount of discomfort in life and if I didn't I'd be alien to myself. Thanks there to Callus, and don't worry viewers, he's not as unhappy as he sounds. Now you might have a better idea of who you want to see on the Zodiac playing live, and you're quite more than welcome to send your demo tapes to me, the address of which will be coming up shortly. In the meantime, we went out and about Oxford, our cameras flying high over streets and houses, to ask you who you thought were the best band in Oxford, and here are your replies. My favourite Oxford band is Four Story. Uh, Scribble, I think. My favourite Oxford band is The Workhouse. Uh, my favourite Oxford band at the moment, I think, is the quite excellent medal. My favourite Oxford band is Supergrass. My favourite band at the moment is uh, Die Pretty. <laughs> my favourite Oxford band is Flume. My favourite Oxford band was Scribble, even though they're not from Oxford. 
So thanks very much, mate, for pointing that out. I'm, I don't really care because they still play in Oxford and they're a very, very good band. Uh, but right now the argument stopped because it's time for the commercial break. So that's when you go to the kitchen, get some herbs, put them in a metal receptacle, heat them slowly and imbibe. Yes, it is the commercial break. And if you can't move off your sofa due to tiredness, laziness or just sheer boredom, then after you've watched these adverts, you'll be able to buy some more life-improving consumer products and when you come back from doing all that, there'll still be music on the telly. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to part two of Soundstage. But more than just that, because we'll also be having an interview with lo-fi, hardcore, not your punk rockers, King Prawn. We'll also be doing lots of other fun and frolicky things, including going down to visit the Ginger Stinger Andy down at Chalky's Record Shop for his Just For Fun Top 5. We'll also be doing a venue report from the Dolly, which is just off Corn Market Street, and a What's On guide so you know where to go, what to do, and when to do it. Right now, though, we'll be going to a live performance by one of my favourite bands, Fabulous Kitchenware, with their song, Looking Good. And if you think about it, she is rather...
Yes, they are looking good, and strangely enough, they are managed by Katrina and the Waves, who were one-time Eurovision pop stars with their track, Walking on Sunshine, which is very, very strange. And moving a complete diversion now to the punk sounds of King Prawn with their hip-hop beats and anti-racism lyrical style, we managed to interview Barbar, the demon bassist, down at the point when they played Oxford about a month ago. So, well, I'm backstage with uh, Baba, demon bassist from King Prawn at the point in Oxford. Uh, it's been a long, long time since I've seen you. Uh, yeah. uh, the depths of my soul, which was a year ago, a long, long time. Moved on since then. Eh? Yeah, that's it. We've just, that was just the first album, the tools for getting things on the screen and stuff and trying to always trying to use another, especially when you're underground and you're hardcore and you ain't got a lot of financial assistance. You yeah. need to just send to every sort of small organisation which is interested in you and try and promote yourselves. And from there we've done our second album called Fried in London, which is still available in the shops. <laughs> Buy it now. I've months. given you some money towards your next one. Hey, look at the chick chick I the have, classy I design. I have bought this. Sheesh. There we go. Oh, which is see. quite nice. Sheesh. That six pounds will go towards making this band even yeah. better. We've basically written a lot of new songs like Tonight in the set. There's no point in being stagnant and just staying where you are. You need to always write new songs, always do new demos, always try and sell yourself, always try and improve your music, main thing, you know? Yeah. As long as we're happy with the songs and the music. And we've got about six new songs in this set, and we've got about eight, nine new songs all together. And we've done a demo, we then do another demo. That's our encore That's track. That's the old one. <laughs> That's our encore track. The old one, we've always got certain encore tracks which are like, songs which give us a rush still and some of the old ones and some of the new ones but tonight we're fancy playing do you that. find you've got like a real hardcore group of fans who will just who turn up at, at more gigs than they should do uh i think so <laughs> often we play places but it's slowly getting better all the time because it's like the old diy method you know do it yourself and die well look i had a great time uh, thank you very and much for i think we did and if you've got any more videos or promotional stuff then oh, definitely. we'll be pleased to have it on the show I as think. soon as we do something new we'll do it you know we'll okay. do it up and we'll send it to you yes we're all such rock and roll buddies king Paul and i and if you like the sound of that little snatch then you can get their album fried in london from most good record stores throughout oxford and moving from the King Prawn starter to the much tastier fruity dessert, we're going down now to the Ginger Stinger Andy at Chalky's Record Shop for his regular top five, which I believe this week is based on fruits, which is quite weird. So I guess you had to be there. <laughs> With the power of television, you can be. This week, the top five is our fabulous fruity flavours. The Seedless Jaffas, Orange Goblin. E numbers, Tartazine, and a Citrus Tang. All natural lemon and lime flavours. Feed me, baby, black grape. I don't Adam and Eve it, a kaleidoscope of sound, a spectrum, and a silver apples. Oh, uh, and uh, John. That's it for our fruity flavours. Next week we're going to do cloves. He's not very well, you know. But if you've got suggestions for fabulous, fun top fives, then send them in. And if they make Andy and myself laugh or cry, we're very sensitive young chaps, then we'll put them on the show and uh, all your friends can laugh and point when your top five comes up. But you're probably wondering now why the music stopped. Well, it hasn't really, because now we're going to be going to our regular feature, a venue report, which this week is from the Dolly, which is in Fruin Court, off of Corn Market. So. Uh, 
the new report there from the Dolly, which is in Fruin Court off Court Market Street in central Oxford, which is a bit of a rock and roll venue. Now, you probably want to know, if you're going out and about, where to go and what's on over the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Well, that's it now, it's all over, it's time to collect the glasses, clear the mosh pit, go and get a kebab or whatever else it is you do after going to a gig. We will be back next week with more music, and if you're in a band and you want to send me your demo tape, then send it to, and write this down, Luke at 270 Woodstock Road, Oxford, OX27NW, that's 270 Woodstock Road, Oxford, OX27NW, and more than likely we'll get you down to Zodiac and record a couple of tracks with you. Uh, and that's it for now. We'll see you next week. So uh, that's it. You can go now. Go on, you can go. Go. <laughs>